The importance of exports to the U.S. beef industry has been well documented. And the U.S. Meat Export Federation works every day to enhance demand for our product overseas. Joining us now to talk about these efforts is Dan Hallstrom. He's the president and CEO of the U.S. Meat Export Federation. Dan, we talk a lot about demand, and clearly uh, beef demand has been on an absolute upswing. Talk to us about the export portion of that. What uh, is the year shaping up to look like? Yeah, Kevin, a good question. Uh, despite all the uncertainties around COVID-19 globally and, and uh, the rebound, so to speak, from that pandemic, uh, the beef demand globally has been very resilient. In fact, it's on fire. Uh, we are seeing dramatic growth, in some cases growth larger on a consumption basis than pre-COVID. Wow. So um, yeah, our forecast year to date through six months, we're up 18%, which is easily a new record over 2018. And our forecast is somewhere in a neighborhood of 14 to 15% growth for the year. Uh, we may have to even adjust that up. So, and the beauty of it is that the growth has been broad based. It's not one or two countries we're seeing seven or eight countries contribute so uh, I think uh, at least for the time being things are looking pretty good on that front that really is positive news yeah. news we're, we're six months into the Biden administration um, what has uh, President Biden's trade agenda meant for the US beef industry well I think we're still waiting to hear some of the details around the agenda um, but it looks optimistic uh, we have a couple of key trading positions that have to be filled yet within the administration of course Greg Dowd's old position the mm -hmm. chief uh, ag negotiator is one at USTR and uh, Undersecretary McKinney's old position, uh, the Undersecretary for Trade. Those are two key positions that need to get filled, but I think uh, hopefully they'll be filled sooner rather than later. The other thing that we're optimistic about is the two pending trade agreements that were started under the Trump administration yeah. with uh, Kenya on the Africa side and, and the UK as well. So I think, uh, you know, those are some, some low hanging fruit that I hope we can capitalize on soon. We always talk a lot about the promise of the Chinese market. Give us an update on what you see happening in China. Well, if you had to pick one market that stood out uh, incrementally, it would be China. Uh, we had the phase one deal implemented for beef in March of 2020, and we came from a very low base at that time. And uh, we're, right now we're sitting at about 600 million exported this year, which would make it the third or fourth largest export market. Uh, and the beauty of China is that we're really not competing against any domestic production. Mm -hmm. Our high quality or high you know, quality grain finished beef, yes. uh, the marbled beef is unique in that aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think uh, not only is it going well now, but there's room for ex uh, continued growth. That's good. You talk about diversification and not being so singularly dependent on one particular market. Are there other emerging markets that you think hold promise for the U.S. beef industry? I think uh, I think that's the key, actually. Um, we have our mainstay markets, Japan, Korea, Mexico, which are doing very, very well. Uh, but we have Central America. There's five or six countries in that region. You've got uh, South America with Chile, Peru, Colombia. And you've got a, a continent like Africa, which we've only scratched the surface of. So, um, yes, I think, I think the key to success here is diversification and uh, really trying to expand growth in a lot of these small emerging areas that won't be small five or ten years from now. Right. So this, I think, is one of the keys. Well, that's great news. We appreciate what you and your entire staff does to grow demand for beef globally. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you, Kevin. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Now, to learn more about the work of the U.S. Meat Export Federation and its efforts to enhance U.S. beef demand overseas, you can visit their website, usmef.org.